water in the bay or in the ocean. I always think of salt. So I love salt, probably too much um, as just to stay healthy. Anybody here a big salt fan? Yeah. Put salt on your food? Yeah, you know, we want to do it in moderation. But you notice, have you ever had the experience where you accidentally put too much salt on your food and immediately went from like tasty to, oh my gosh, this is disgusting, right? So there's a, there's a level at which our taste for salt goes past and gets to a disgusting place. Um, so swimming in the ocean was always kind of hard for me. Um, anybody here ever got to play around in the ocean and swim or just surf the waves or wade? Right, I love doing that until I got to the point where I opened my mouth and got that first gulp of salt water yeah. in there. And it was just like, ew, yuck. So um, I'm kind of wondering if some people here might think that they could taste the difference in saltiness in water. Now, I didn't actually take, I have to admit, I didn't actually take uh, water from the bay that I simulated different amounts of saltiness in water. But I was wondering if I could get a volunteer who is brave and is willing to taste some stuff. Okay. Actually, let's get two volunteers. Can we get you right up here? And you. Come on up. So, what are your names? Natalie. Natalie, are you ready to taste salt water? And where are you from? Um, All the way from California. That's, that's wonderful. And how about you? What's your name? Sam. Sam, where are you from? Washington. The state? Or the Washington state? Well, well thanks for traveling on wow. down. So, I'm going to need a little bit of help. First of all, I made a little map. They didn't see me do this. I did this stuff. Um, of the San Francisco Bay. And um, we know that if we... Uh, actually, could you try to hold it? I can hold it for you. Thank you. Um, so, as you can see, this is San Francisco down here, and here's Moran, and here's Oakland. Um, and we know that when we're out in the ocean, the water is really salty, right? So you know what that tastes like. And when you're in a river or a lake, if it's a freshwater lake, that's freshwater, and there's almost no saltiness in that. But the bay is kind of a, a different place. It's where those two things mix. And the amount of salt that's in the water out here is kind of different. It's somewhere in between fresh and really salty. Um, and why would that matter? Like, why would we need, who would need uh, like medium salty things. There's quite a bit of the things that live around here or come through the bay that need that medium saltiness. So I'm kind of wondering if you could uh, try. I have three different locations here. We have the ocean where it's purple. We know that's super salty. Okay. Um, up here in the rivers that feed into the bay, we've got the Sacramento and the San Joaquin River two of the major rivers that feed the San Francisco Bay with fresh water. That red box up there, you know, it's like, that's regular water. That's like what you would drink out of the tap. Um, fresh water. And then this is kind of in between water. This is mixed. This is kind of salty. Okay? So what I want you to do here is uh, we're going to taste A here. And just take a tiny bit, because if it's salty, it's going to be gross. Okay. Does that taste like? Uh, fresh. Fresh? Yeah? Okay. And why don't you take a sip? Yes. You agree? Yeah. Normal? Okay. Normal. So, could you do me the favor and grab the A down there? Yeah. And put it where you two think it what is comes it from. Is it the really salty stuff down here, the fresh water, or the mix? Yeah, fresh water. Okay, so that's our prediction that the fresh water is what's in cup A. Now let's try cup B. Now, I have a cup of just regular drinking water here in case it's disgusting. So just take a <laughs> tiny sip here of this. Tiny, tiny sip. <laughs> okay. So there's a cup. Why don't you take a sip of regular water here? Okay. And then why don't you take this here? 
I was a big chef. You're a brave man. You took the really big gulp okay. of that. Fantastic. How would you describe that? Like, if we're like, swimming, like, like, if we taste like a beach, now, like, on the surface. Like, like on the surface of, of what? Bay, or an ocean or something. What did you think of that water? Uh, ocean. Okay, so that was B. So you can decide, one of the two of you decide whether you think that comes from the ocean or from the bay. You, you both think it's ocean? Okay. Flip the B right out in the ocean. All right, so we got our prediction A and B. So now we're going to do our C. Ready? Here you go. Tiny set. Um, yes. Is it? Do you think it's more salty or less salty than the last one? You think that's more salty? Okay. And let's get a second opinion. Oh, you're still taking big gulp to the gray man here. What did you think of that one? Way more so. Way, Way more so. Okay, so maybe we want to reconsider our prediction. So we have C here. That's the one you just tasted. Okay. Okay, so do you want to make a move? Do you want to move something here in your prediction? Why don't you two talk about it? And... Okay. They're changing B and C. All right, so we've got our prediction here. Uh, we think that A is fresh water, B is the mix, and C is the super, super salty water. Um, so I have here a little gizmo. Uh, it's called an Arduino. And I am hoping it works. It just got wet here, so <laughs> it, anything electrical doesn't really like water. But uh, if you don't know about Arduinos, these are amazing little, uh, amazing little gizmos. They cost about twenty-five dollars, and you can do really neat electronics projects really simply. Um, and you program it with a computer. And I made a really quick program here that measured how much electricity goes through the water. That turns out that salt really helps electricity flow through the water. We know that normally we wouldn't want to have electricity around water, uh, even in the bathroom. However, uh, we have a safe setup here, but, um, but the more salt that's in the water, the higher the amount of electricity flowing through it would be. That's uh, conductivity. Um, so let's see if I can get this thing reset, and then we can test the three. And we'll do this real fast. Yeah, we'll do this real fast. And looks like... Uh, looks like the, the <laughs> Arduino got, got, it got wet. wet. It, it got wet, so that part isn't. But um, what I want to do here really quickly is let you know which of the which of them they were and why it's important. So turned out A was pretty obvious, right? Okay. Uh, C was pretty obvious um, once you tasted C. So you got these right, um, and it turns out that there are a whole bunch of things that live in the bay that kind of need that medium level of saltiness, but also fish and uh, and other things that live out in the ocean can sometimes swim into the bay for short periods of time. Just like you can go swimming in the water, and you can stay there for a little while, but eventually you have to come out. There's some saltwater fish that come in here, and then come out. There's some freshwater fish that come down from the bay uh, and hang out, or come down from the rivers and hang out in the bay and come back here. But the real reason why the bay is super important is there's some types of uh, fish that are born up in the rivers, like salmon, you've probably heard of salmon, and little baby salmon are born in fresh water, and they need to get out to salt water, but they can't make that move immediately. So what they do is they go and hang out in the bay for a little while, while until they get adjusted. Could you guys move the, the little fishies into the bay, please? 